Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm filming a video again. <laughs> this is actually my second time filming this because I did film this Pod Size Reviews a couple of days ago, and then when I went to go edit the file, it was like totally corrupted. So we're gonna do the best that we can do right now. <laughs> Before we jump into this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the Bite Size Review series. And if you want to see any more of my videos and you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. Okay, so since in that first take of this video, I already went through all of the samples and reviews from last time, I don't have any of the packaging with me anymore. So we're going to cue to some screenshots from my last video with a beautiful voiceover of my little reviews of these products. This Armani foundation was actually really good. I found out later on that the shade was like 5.5, which was way too dark for me. But I used my LA Girl Lightening Drops to lighten that up a little bit, and I loved the coverage. I loved the formula, and it really did last throughout the day. I've really been impressed by every single Armani sample that I've gotten so far. So I know at some point I'm going to pick up a foundation. I just don't know which one precisely I want to try out, but I think I'm going to do a really thorough investigation into all of my foundations and do a nice declutter by the end of this year. So I'm thinking maybe sometime in 2019 I'll do some more like luxury or high-end foundation tryouts. The Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Eye Primer, it was just an okay eye primer. Honestly, it doesn't do anything more or less than what you would get from the Milani eye primer, and for the price that it is, I just don't think that it's really worth it, so... It did an okay job. I did what it was supposed to do, but I don't think you need to spend that kind of money on a clear eye primer. The Dior moisturizer was actually not that great on my skin. It actually it just it didn't have enough moisture for my skin. It sunk in very, very quickly, and after about like 10 or 15 minutes, I felt like I needed to go put more moisturizer on on top of this. I use it at night during my nighttime skincare routine. Maybe this is something that's better during the day, but just because of the way my skin felt after wearing it, I just don't think it's right for me. But if you have like really oily skin and you need like a moisturizer to sink in, it might work out well for you, but also it's Dior with the Dior price tag and I just don't think luxury like moisturizers are necessary because there are so many great options either in the mid-range or the drugstore. The Grande Lips Lip Plumper was actually a just really nice nude lip gloss. It didn't really plump so much, but then again, my, I feel like my lips are like an average size and shape, so I don't really go for anything that's going to change the shape of my lips or, you know, go for plumping. But as just a regular nude gloss, it was fairly beautiful. This Corez Black Pine 3D Sculpting, Firming, and Lifting Super Eye Serum was horrible. It was terrible. Here is a picture of it on the Sephora website so that you know to steer clear of it. I followed the directions to a T and put this on as an eye serum at night and it burned the absolute hell out of my eyes. Like I was tearing up, I couldn't see anything, it was actually really scary. So I, I would definitely not recommend this product. I would steer clear of it. And I also just want to like uh, emphasize the importance of um, spot testing because I just used this eye serum without really testing to see if I had a reaction to it in like a small portion of my face before actually just applying it all over my eye area. So that is something that's very important. Always spot test, especially when it's something that's going very close to your eyes. But at the end of the day, just this was a definite note for me and a definite note if you have sensitive skin or anything because this just was so bad under my eyes. Ah, uh, wasn't that informative? <laughs> wasn't that just as good as if my file wasn't corrupted? <laughs> Okay, so because I feel this already, of course, I've already picked out my new items. I'm carrying over the Lancome little sample that I had last time because it is a large eye cream sample, so still working on this. I did get a Clinique sample. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is a product that I do love and use a lot. I currently have one downstairs, so odds are I'm still going to like this one. Next, I picked out a sample from Ren. This is the Evercom Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. It's just a face mask. It's supposed to be good for sensitive skin and like calm redness and whatnot. So I'm excited to try this out and it feels like you do get a good amount of product in this sample. Next, I picked a moisturizer from Cetaphil. I did used to use their uh, face wash, their gentle face wash, um, but then I switched to the CeraVe just because it was a little bit cheaper and I liked how it felt on my skin afterwards. Like this 
cleanser left a little bit of a film on my skin when I double cleansed but it wasn't a bad cleanser like by any means um, but I've never tried their moisturizer so I am excited to try this moisturizer out I am looking for a little bit of a cheaper dupe because the Clinique moisturizer that I mentioned that I love it's I mean that's a lot of money for a moisturizer so I am looking for a good drugstore moisturizer Next, I got a sample from Estee Lauder. This is a foundation that I do already. I've already used up one of these, completely panned it, and I did love it. This is the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. Unfortunately, the sample looks like they just give you enough for swatches, but I'm gonna use it. The, the whole point of this project is to go through my samples and use them. So I'm gonna have fun trying to think of how to use this. I get three uh, shades in here. I have Sandalwood, which is 6W1. Ivory Beige, which is 3N1, and then actually the shade that I use, which is 1N2 Ecru. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so I can probably use this as a concealer since it is the shade that I normally would go for. And then the other two, I'm going to try to use it as a cream contour or something, but we'll see. And the last sample that I picked out was actually a fragrance from Replica. This is the Beach Walk fragrance, and I'm just gonna, uh, and I'm just gonna spray it. Uh, Okay, so to me, this doesn't smell like the beach. It smells like your grandparents' like apartment or something. It's, it's, it's got a strange scent to it. It's something that I would expect to s smell out of a, um, like a Febreze or like a, one of those wallflower plugins and not a perfume. So uh, we'll, we'll try it out. There's only a little bit left in there, but we are going to give it a shot. It is actually 100 degrees outside and I'm dying. Okay, so those are all the samples that I picked out for this next time. And then hopefully when I have uh, filmed the next update, the files won't be corrupted and it'll be like a normal video. <laughs> but if you missed the playlist of all of these videos, I will throw that up in the cards for you to check out. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.